das Olivenöl war ganz hinten, ja? Just to make sure that you're really you, you had uh, zucchini bites, rom schnitzel. Yes. Beautiful. All right. My name is Dennis Davila, and I am one of the uh, one of the two owners of the Angry German here in Sierra Vista. My business partner Dwayne and I, we both worked for corporate restaurants in Tucson. We had an idea that we we wanted to open up our own restaurant, and um, I had uh, I had known the previous owners of of this restaurant for quite a long time. One day, I'd come here for lunch with my mom, and, uh, and Michelle, the previous owner, she, uh, she said, you know, Dennis, um, I'd really like to retire. From there, the dream essentially was born, and uh, we rebranded it, we made it our own, and we decided to, to have some fun with the name, and we called it the Angry German. That really comes from just a play on uh, what they used to call me in the corporate world. So anytime my mom would call me, um, she ignores me if I speak to her in English. So I, had to, so I had to speak to her in German, and to somebody that doesn't speak it, it sounds like such an angry language. We have a noise down, oder? So they kind of nicknamed me the Angry German. So we just decided to have some fun with it. Bravo two. Bravo two. 2021. Yep, November of 2021. It's been it's been very very good. Our take on the German restaurant is a little bit more fusion style. It's more American meets German. Some of that German flavor, some of that German flair, but also kind of mixed and blended with with things that uh, an American audience would be familiar with. Lamb and beef style gyro meat, and then uh, fresh tzatziki, onions, tomatoes, and our house made coleslaw as well. Our potato salad is, is quite literally a, a, the mixture of a German recipe and an American recipe. And we played with that too and decided to call it NATO potato salad. We also have uh, a, an active bakery. We bake cakes, we bake pastries. Most of the pastries we bake are French style, they're not German style pastries. We do have a few German styles, but most of them are French. Um, and that's kind of what we were going for. Granulated sugar, Mac mix, beautiful. Let me grab you a check, my friend, and I'll have one of the boys come and do that real quick. Yeah. I was originally born in Wiesbaden, Germany, and uh, my mom married an, uh, an American soldier, and uh, he adopted me. And that's how I became, one, an American, and two, how I got a very Hispanic last name. Your total damage is 3044 on that one. People do talk about the fact that there's three German restaurants in Sierra Vista. There was actually, until recently, there was four. And uh, one of those ladies uh, recently retired, and she was not, not far from here either. Um, I think it's, it's the military base that, that drew that, and um, it just kind of became um, almost a, a natural thing to have German restaurants so close to a military base. All right, if you need anything else, just yell at the top of your lungs, okay? All right, thanks. Looking back on it, I, I think I probably made the best decision that I could have possibly made. <laughs> Thank you. Behind. Opening up your own restaurant is it's not easy. Um, and, and the first year can be it can be challenging. The one that you had today, the, the, the cheddar with the green chili. So it kinda they, they kinda dance well together, I think. I would say to anybody out there that's considering doing it, put a plan together and chase your dream. You won't regret it. Well I'm here to do more than just look pretty. <laughs> Excuse me.